Hi friends! When assembling do-it-yourself constructions often raises the problem of the power supply, especially if you need a powerful power supply. To find iron transformer is not a problem, but it has several drawbacks. I mean high cost, large size and weight. So pulse power supply is preferred. But good pulse power supply is difficult to assemble and adjust, therefore unavailable for beginners. I'll tell you how to build a very simple and powerful power supply on the basis of an electronic transformer or rather how to increase their power. Now, I have the purpose to develop or improve existing scheme, just increase the power output. But in the future, if you're interested, I'll show how to improve it, for example how to add protection against short circuit. For experiments, I used a 50 watt Toshiba transformer. I'll try to get 300 watt of him. Circuit is a simple two-stroke half-bridge inverter. Auto-generating runs on the basis of symmetric diniester, which is supplying the initial impulse for the launch. There are two high-voltage transistors 13003, two capacitors 0 0.1 microfarad, 400 volt. Feedback transformer with three windings. Each of two base windings has three turns of 0.5 mm wire. Third winding is for current feedback. At the input of the circuit installed one ohm resistor as a kind of fuse followed by a diode bridge. The device has no protection against short circuit and stabilization of the output voltage as the scheme is designed to work with a passive load such as office halogen lamps. The main power transformer has two windings, the primary and secondary output voltage of 12 volt. Despite its simplicity, it works flawlessly. The first test has shown that the transformer has relatively large potential. Later, I found a patented welding converter circuit constructed almost in the same way. I created a PCB for high power option. I made two boards since initially wanted to build a device for contact welding. It worked immediately without any problems. But then I decided to rewind the secondary winding because it had two volt output and the enormous current, which I have nothing to measure. Multimeter goes off scale. Here is already high power option. Parts needed were even less than in original electronic transformer. From original board I took the feedback transformer and dynaster with its starting circuit capacitor and resistor. From computer power supply, unit taken power transformer, transistors and bridge rectifier, film capacitors, bought at store. I did replacements from 13003 to 13009. IN 4007 diodes with 1 ampere current to the bridge rectifier with a current 4 ampere 600 volt. Here suited any bridges with current from 3 ampere and voltages about 400 volt. Half bridge capacitors are 2.2 microfarad 400 volt but can be from 1.5 microfarad. Power transformer took from 450 watt 80x format unit. It was fully disassembled and winded again. Primary winding made with triple 0.5 mm wire. Total number of turns is 55. It fits into three layers. They isolated with blue insulation tape. Winding should be neat and tight. Since I didn't find the calculation program for similar schemes, Parameters of secondary winding was found experimentally. In my case, one turn give 2 volt. Of course, it's different for other transformer core. When turned on first time, you should use lamp from 40 to 60 watt for safety. After starting the lamp, does not flash because of absence of smoothing electronic capacitor after the diode rectifier. The output voltage is of the high frequency. For the measurements, we must first rectify it. For the purpose, I used a powerful bridge assembled from diodes KD2997. Each can withstand current up to 30 ampere if you put them on the radiator. But I connected two bridges in parallel, so I hope they will not burn during the test. The secondary winding actual output is 70 volt at idle. Now I will load circuit. I have 400 volt film projector lamp and 5 pieces 12 volt lamps at 20 volt each, all connected in parallel. First, let's measure the current.
A multimeter 20 ampere scale almost goes off scale. I don't know for a long time because transistors and bridge without radiators. Next, let's measure the output voltage under load. Voltmeter shows 15.3 volt. This drawdown is only about 2 volt. As a result, net power output is around 300 watt. And this is not a limit. I just haven't at hand something else for load. I'm sure that you can get up to 500 watt without any modifications. All necessary links are on the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.